Lermer on the Ornery Express is the 14th episode of the 8th season of Rugrats and I have to say I personally didn't really enjoy it but I actually can see that it's actually a well-crafted story, very well animated, incorporates pretty much all of the main characters and is a nice change of pace because we obviously have a, a very different location. So all things considered, it's a good episode, but I personally prefer the ones that are a little bit more towards the norm. So for my personal taste, not the best, but actually there's nothing wrong with it. Boris and Minka are celebrating uh, their anniversary and they're having this, I think Minka said she wanted it to be like a second honeymoon at one point and everybody's gone on the Orient Express or a version of. And Chucky is actually very scared of this because it's a big train, it's scary, everything's different and the adults are busy doing their thing. As is often the case, the babies are unsupervised quite a lot and that in itself is a problem. But then something goes missing. Minka's jewellery, her necklace, is stolen. While the adults are worrying about that, Chucky and Angelica's toys have disappeared. That's Cynthia and Chucky has brought along Wawa. And it's quite sweet because he's brought along Wawa because it's a, a comfort, uh, you know, like a comfort blanket or a comfort toy. And I like the fact that the episode acknowledges that toys can be a source of comfort for children. And I think that's a really lovely thing. If a child finds comfort or reassurance in a toy fabulous unfortunately the toy disappears and the episode is all about solving those mysteries it did take quite a long time to get to the point and the setting up takes a very long time but because we have a change of pace we're in a different location the characters are wearing different clothing visually it's a little bit different so I kind of almost didn't mind that because there was enough to look at that was quite interesting and the design of the train I think works really well the sound effects are really good it's not too noisy there are a lot of times when cartoons or you know shows will incorporate trains and the screeching of the tires is so frequent and so loud but that's not the case here so everything about this seemed to work quite well and with regards to the mystery element I'm not going to divulge what happens of course but I'll say it was pretty well written it's not a bad narrative but as I said just for me personally I just wasn't that bothered I just didn't find the story that interesting for me because I prefer the episodes where they're at home or you know in a more familiar environment but I have to give it credit because I think it handled the narrative well it was very well animated and not a bad story so it may not be for me personally but actually I did enjoy seeing pretty much all of the characters together the adults together and you know Boris and Minka are great characters we got a decent amount of Debbie Reynolds um which is not always the case because Lulu tends to have a couple of lines whenever she appears in an episode but she had a few things to say here which was nice so I enjoyed bits of it it's never going to be a favorite do I feel like it needed to be a double parter I mean they could have condensed it but it's not so bad I can understand why they decide to make it a double parter but it could have been a single one. But either way, Murmur on the Ornery Express may not be a personal favourite, but I can't really fault it. It's actually not that bad.